Hello everybody! In today's video, I wanted to take a look at upgrading OpenWRT over the command line again. Now, if you've seen this video, I've actually already done this, but the difference in today's video is we're going to do it for a customer at a remote site. Now, it's very, very important that we verify the firmware checksum because in my previous video, I did not. I just went straight through and upgraded it because I was just being ballsy. This time it's really important as it's one of my customers. So I'm already SSH'd in. I've got the guide on screen in front of me. Now I am just going to run the uptime command because it's been up for 150 days. So that's going to change and we can see we are running 18.06.1. So let's proceed with the upgrade guide. The first command is to run free, like so. So we're looking at this number here. So that means I've got over 30 meg of free memory, which is great because the firmware I'm downloading is only 4 meg. So command one is complete. Now command two, you need to customize yourself. So I'm just going to pop this in notepad. So we're going to set this variable here, download link. And that is literally the link of the firmware. So to do that, we'll just browse to downloads.openwrt.org. We're going to choose the latest stable release at the time of the video, which is 18.06.4. You need to know your target architecture. So we are on over here and over here. And we can see all the E-series routers. This customer has a E4000 200 version 1. So we're just going to right click on that, copy link location, and paste it in there. Make sure it's HTTP. HTTPS won't work. We're also going to set this variable here, the SHA256 sums. I don't know why there's an L there, but we're going to edit that out. And if you just browse to the bottom of this page, there's a SHA256 sums. So we're going to do the same again. Right click, copy link location paste that in there. So that will set our variables for us. Let's copy the whole thing into our command window and press enter. So there are the variables set. Step three, copy that command as it is. Basically we're going to change directory to the temporary directory. We're going to wget the download link that we've just specified in the previous command and the SHA-256 sums in the previous command and we're going to run a hash against them and hopefully we'll get a correct output. So let's copy that command and hit enter. There we go. This is the all important thing here where it says OK. Do not proceed if it does not say OK. <laughs> Make sure it says OK. It's very, very important as it says in step number five. And the last thing to do is actually below the troubleshooting steps is run the actual sys upgrade command. So we're confident now that we've got a firmware check some verified. So we can run this command here, paste it into your router. Now before I press enter, very, very important to know, let your customer know what you're doing before you do it. Number two, it's always a good idea to have somebody on site if you need them to power cycle the router. Now I'm just going to go for this one because I'm quite confident that the generation one E-series routers, they just come back online. So I'm just going to run. I don't need anyone on site. Hopefully, hopefully I won't eat my words. And number three, make sure you have a backup plan if it all goes wrong. So my backup is very good, but I do have this trusty E1200 which I can configure for them and get them back up in not too much time at all. So let's proceed with our upgrade by hitting enter. And I'll give this whole thing a fast forward. You can see it's terminated the connection. So let's come back to this in about five minutes. All right, we are SSH'd in and we can see we're on OpenWRT 18.06.4. So that is fantastic. So thank you very much for watching this video and I will see you in the next one.